Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Harkhead's Game Room. We're doing Lovers and a Dangerous Space Time. This is a wonderful little game. I saw this at PAX 2014. Uh, PAX West up in Seattle. Uh, wonderful, wonderful little game. And it is... Well, it really is. It's just wonderful and brilliant and whimsical and cute. And we're going to start from scratch. Note, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Come on, all right. Save data. Just get rid of that one. It's kind of my experimentation game right here. And we'll start from from scratch. See now, when you do one player mode, um, you get to choose between Doppler and Kepler here. I'm a cat person myself, so let's do it. So now, as I said, I had the pleasure of playing this PAX 2014 wonderful one-player, two-player game. And I highly recommend this to anyone, especially if you love couch co-op and, uh, you know, you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or this is a great couples game right here. So this is great, right? So you got like this, it's basically this little platform stage that you run around in as your ship and your little, little green guy. Controls are very simplistic. And there's a very, very high amount of replayability to the game. Um, while the tutorial isn't, the rest of the game is like completely procedurally done, so... Uh, every time you play the campaign, you're going to get something different. Yeah. 
shield and engine blocks. Shields! Go, kitty, go! Cosmic Space Bunnies. <laughs> of course, this whole game's got this beautiful little neon look to it. Which you might love if you're a Moonbeam City fan. Which I totally am. The show rocks. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to a second season. Really, really. It doesn't look like much at first, but you can actually upgrade all of this stuff. Get some crazy cool weapon combinations. Never fear, Space Bunny. I shall save you. Uh -oh. Get some! The bunny is mine. <laughs> Alright. We need two more. Ooh, jump, damn you. Alright, next stop. As I was saying earlier, um, everything except for the tutorial is procedurally generated. Like every time you play one of the campaign missions, uh, the level layouts are totally different, including power ups, you know, collectibles, this and that. Now I know there's more to the game depending on what difficulty you play, because I, I on one game I've beaten it through completely on casual and. Uh, 
still it's not uh, not giving me 100%, so there must be must be something on uh, normal or master. Oh, I could have just flown through that. I'm an idiot. Damn you, kitty! Where my ship's going. <laughs> And we're fine. Save the bunnies, kitty! Surprise. It comes around again, you guys are in real danger. <laughs> Bam! Didn't fire that too early. Alright, let's get out of here. And away we go. All right. 